Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have an insane video for you guys. And before I get started again, we are giving away the Supercell box. So make sure you guys are subbed. The only thing you guys need to do is be subscribed to the channel and you are entered in the giveaway. I'm going to pick one person by random. I'm going to shout you out in a video. Make sure to watch the video so you guys can hear your name. It's going to be at the start of the video when I do announce it. And if you win, just send me a DM on Discord or on Twitter, and I will make sure to get back to you and send you that insane Supercell box. But with that being said, we have an insane video for you guys today. We are going to be teaching you guys how to actually play Mortis in Siege. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, don't promote Mortis in Siege, Bobby. Don't tell Mortis... Don't tell random players to play Mortis in Siege, guys. It's broken. It is the best Siege Brawler, almost. Okay, that's cap. But it is a very, very good Siege Brawler. I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. It is the best bolt collecting brawler. It is pretty good for offense, surprisingly. I'm going to teach you guys how to effectively do it. And it is one of the best defensive brawlers in the game. Now, I know you guys are probably not going to give it a chance, but I'm asking you guys, just give it a little bit of a chance. Let me explain to you how it's good. Times have changed and Mortis is meta in Siege. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use Mortis in Siege. All right, so here we go into the first game and I'm going to teach you guys exactly what to do. Now, when you play a game of Siege, it is broken down into three parts. You have offense, you have defense, and you have control. The control is the middle. Mortis is one of the best control brawlers in the game, and let me tell you why. The first bolt is the most important bolt in the game. It is the most important thing in Siege is getting that first bolt, and it is so, so important. And there is no brawler that gets to that first bolt faster than Mortis. You are guaranteed every single time, unless you are facing, facing an opposing Mortis, to get that first bolt. This obviously increases your chances to get the first spot, in which obviously increases your chance to win the game. Other brawlers that are really good at this are like BB or Jackie, but Mortis is the absolute fastest. Now, when on offense with Mortis, it's really simple. You don't want to be going for the Ike for very obvious reasons. You kind of just want to be using your bats, trying to kill the defenders, not destroy the Ike. As you guys saw, that's exactly what I did. I might have hit the Ike one time. I used my bats. I used everything against them because what I want to do is have them respawn, have my teammates, you know, kind of just chill in that middle and hold it down. Now you guys can see we're doing a great job. We're just dashing around trying to pick up bolts. Obviously winning the first bot helps a lot with winning the second bot and with the damage that we were able to do because yes, Mortis can actually do some damage to the Siege and to the Ike. You are able to get that second bot and it is really easy to be able to win. Now here, all we have to be able to do is not die, kind of just sustain position. So we're just going to slowly take it gonna chill we're gonna go for that siege gonna or that that surge not that siege gonna be able to get an easy kill and wrap up that game now going into the next game again very easy we're gonna show you guys a process of how this works again you're gonna go straight for that first bolt it is the fastest brawler in the game at getting it and it is very easy to do so siege now has fixed bolt spawns so wherever the bolt spawns at the start the bolt is gonna spawn on the other side so you guys can see i walked over no one can kill me i can just dash out of the way and i got that second bolt We've already gotten that bot just based off of the fact that I'm a Mortis. And obviously, Spike had position over there. I said, no, that's going to be my bolt. I'm going to go get that really quickly. None of this has been any advanced Mortis stuff. None of this is... You guys can't say, oh, he's not OP. You know, Bobby, you're just playing it well. No, I'm just dashing around and collecting bolts. It's literally all I've done. And again, all you want to do is not focus on them... But, or not focus on the Ike, sorry, but focus on them. And that's exactly what I'm doing. They already have an AFK because they gave up. You see Mortis in Siege and you want to give up. Rags is going to go over there. He's going to try and finish it. He's going to be able to do it. Hop into the next game. Now, hopping into this game, this one was a little bit scuffed, but it was really cool that we went against an opposing Mortis. Now, these games are back to back to back. You guys know I don't like to show you guys just random Mortis gameplay. So something that I did and that Mortis did incorrectly was go for that first bolt. He could have gotten it because I spawned on the wrong side of the first bolt. I spawned all the way on the left while it was spawning all the way on the right. But we were able to get it anyways. Obviously, that Mort didn't go for it. If you're playing Mortis, go for that first bolt every single time. Now, obviously, we get countered by Bull. Usually, you're going to face one counter. There aren't many counters actually in Siege. And you guys are going to see we're going to tie this. And I'm going to show you guys how to defend. Defending is one of the most important parts with Mortis because that is what Mortis lacks in the most. He struggles with defense, which obviously causes, you know, he can't do that much damage to the Ike. He can't do that much damage to the bot. It makes Siege a little bit harder. Now, you guys can see my teammates are not good at defending the bot. We have a Gene and we have a Barley. Two low DPS brawlers. Obviously, Barley's good DPS on an Ike, but on a bot, not really. 
And our plan to defend this is very simple. All we're going to do is take out their thrower. And that is all you have to do. What does Mortis hard counter, you guys might ask? Now, I know it's a very easy question, but a lot of people don't understand that Mortis counters throwers. So all you're going to do, you guys can see they have a very big bot, a 10 bot. All you're going to do is focus that thrower and they're not going to be able to do anything. You guys can see I bats the thrower, I dash, I get that kill. Their push is already done. They have a 10 bot. They worked all game to get this bot. But because I got that really simple kill with Mortis, even though we only have a Barley and a Gene, we have a very good defense because it's not about what the bot does. It's about what behind the bot does. And we're able to get those kills which makes it able so that they do nothing. If you're a Mortis, do not stick on that bot, please. Make sure you're taking out their DPS, no matter what it is, if it's a Sprout, if it's a Spike, if it's a Barley, if it's a Dynamite, if it's a Tick, if it's a Brock, you take out that DPS, and if not, you just stay close to it. Because if you stay close to it and you kind of scare it off, even it staying alive and it not doing damage to you is a huge win. And then obviously we get that bot. This is going to be a really easy win from our side at level 14. We don't even have to do that much. But so far, you guys can see Mortis is actually really good. And now my teammates aren't pros. Now they're pretty good players. I play with them sometimes, but they aren't pros by any means. Mortis is a very, very, very cracked brawler. Let's move on to the next game and keep going. Now moving on to the next game, you guys might ask, how do you beat a tank? How do you beat brawlers that you might not do well against and there are actually some brawlers that you guys would be really surprised about that mortis does do really well against brawlers like jackie rosa even 8-bit right now you do really really well against even gene brawlers like that all you really need to do is hit those bats if you're hitting the bats it's like you gain an additional shot for, with the health and then you gain also an additional shot in hitting them those bats are really important and if you're hitting those double bats or even those triple bats those are going to win you every single game. If you can just hit one double bats, you're going to win every single fight you're in because it's just broken. Now, obviously, if you go up against something like a bull or something like a Shelly, you're not going to win like that, but it's still possible. And as I told you guys before, I did not go for the Ike there. That is not what you do. You go for the players because that is how to truly do the most amount of damage as a Mortis is to go for those players and not let them defend properly. Obviously, 1%. What am I going to do as a Mortis? I'm going to go and try and get my bats and just bats the Ike. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get my bats, use it, game over. So now that we finished all of our replays, obviously it wouldn't be a real video if we didn't show you guys some live gameplay. So we're going to hop in with absolute randoms and see if we can carry them. Now, you guys might say, you know, there must be more to this than offense, defense, you know, picking up bullets because that looks really easy. But no, that's all there is to it. Mortis is actually good on Siege. I know what YouTubers tell you. I know what people tell you. And I must admit, Mortis was one of the worst Siege brawlers in the game not too long ago. But right now, with the current meta, Mortis counters it. And it's very good for picking up bolts. It's very good for defense. And it's pretty good for offense. There is no reason why you guys shouldn't be using Mort. And to back up that proof, every single pro team that faces us bans mortis in siege because it is so useful and we figured out how to use it to a perfect t now let's continue into these random games hopefully we don't get terrible randoms let's hop into it and see what happens now again we are at 900 plus trophies so these randoms are going to be pretty good but the teams that we go against are going to be very good it's going to be really tough but i'm going to try and give you guys a play-by-play -play of what i'm doing what my brain is thinking how i'm using my gadgets how i'm using my long dash etc let's hop into the game and let's see what happens all right, so here we hop into our game. We're facing the insane question marks. Oh, we got Kennedy as our random. That's pretty cool. So we're going to be going up over here and just going to the right. Again, we're going to get first bolt every single time. You don't have to worry about that. And now I'm going to walk over to that left lane. I'm going to try and pick this one up. I'm going to use my gadget to gain extra shots. And myself and Kennedy, we're going to be able to get the kills over there. So already we won that first bolt, like we, or that first bot, sorry, like we do every single time. And now we're just going to be chilling over here. We have super. We're going to be going for a double bats. We're not going to be able to get it. I'm going to go down, but truly it does not matter that much. Now, Kennedy going down, that kind of matters, but you know, we're really early on in the game. We got the first bolt. There's not that much more you can ask for because we're going to have position either way. It's going to push them back. Now, what we could do here is go for a team wipe and just let my teammates try and handle the mid. We're going to be able to get a kill over there. That BB's life is worth more than my life and I get up the map quicker. So getting kills like that isn't the worst idea in the world. So I'm just going to be making my way up the map. Kind of just ran into a river over there. And now all we're going to do, very simple, is just pick up bolts. And we're going to wish for the second or third bot. Now, personally, I kind of want that third bot 
because we already kind of lost out on this one. We can't do too much. I'm just going to let them pick up some bolts. And now we're going to go for this kill over here. We're not going to be able to get it. Oh, we're going to tie. So this is very bad news. This is not very good. So this is the point where we kind of just have to run around and team wipe at this point. So we're going to wait for our long dash. And then all we're going to do is go in and try and get that double bats team wipe. So there we go. Get the one bats. Getting it again. Going to go over here and we're going to be able to pick up this kill. There we go. We're able to pick up the kill. Now that should be game. We obviously got to continue picking up bolts and getting kills. Kennedy is going to go for that one. He's going to be knocked back. We're going to hit that BB. Hit it a couple more times and now all we got to do is stay alive. It's very hard to die as a mortis. So we're just going to be wiggling over here. Very easy to ev evade shots. But we're going to be able to win this one out. No offense or even defense needed. Kind of just chilling on this one and able to just claim those bolts. But you guys can see how strong BB is in the meta. We're fi or not BB, sorry. Mortis is in the meta. We're facing very typical brawlers in Siege. BB, you know, uh, brawl, uh, Barley. We're facing Penny. Just typical Siege brawlers and we're getting the wins. It's very easy to play Mortis in Siege. I'm not kidding with you. It is a very, very good brawler. We faced Raz skywalker and z three pro players with mortis in siege with randoms and we got star player if that is not enough for you i don't know what is now that's going to end the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed and that's going to be it now again remember to sign up for that brawl box giveaway it is very important because you guys probably will not get this chance ever again from me because i never get this type of stuff a lot of youtubers don't so make sure you guys try and get it but anyways it's going to be it for me today i hope you guys watch the video leave a like obviously sub do all that but i will be back again tomorrow i will see you guys then peace